Sean's going to show us what's in store for our weather. Yeah, and just went ahead and just decided to hold the picture there. So there it is. And of course, looking off, there's Santa Maria way off in the distance. A little bit of haze really tells the story as we're sun splashed for the most part. But a little bit of marine there is kind of lingering out there. And of course, uh, with all that sun, still no real significant rain expected over the next several days. In fact, um, probably going to go the other way. And the reason being, weather alerts, not really for us. We're not going to worry about it. But well to our south, this would be Orange County and uh, inland portions of Riverside County, they have a small, very low end Santa Ana wind event expected. And of course, that means that everybody starts to warm up in the south. Also want to point this out, big area of storminess. Now this is just offshore for the most part, although the Florida Panhandle is getting a little bit of a wallop right there. Uh, one week ago, we had uh, a pretty tragic situation with um, tornadoes and really severe weather. It looks like it's kind of scooting just a little bit south of there. But again, they're still in the crosshairs for uh, too much rain and more severe weather potential. Today's high in Santa Barbara is still well above normal for pretty much um, uh, the south coast and then down into inland areas. Now north of Point Conception, as I mentioned at the top of the, uh, of the show here, we still have the sea breeze kind of kicking around, so um, stayed a little below normal. Now that is expected to change tomorrow as the sea breeze gets pretty weak, so a lot of areas today on the cool side in those areas that are near the beaches or say like Ventura. Uh, Goleta not too bad, but look at the inland areas going well up into the 70s, kind of knocking on the door of the 80s. But north and west of Point Conception, it was a little cool and brisk, which is very normal as we have that sea breeze. And then if you go inland, uh, say San Luis Obispo, not that bad, but then Paso Robles all the way into the low 80s, we expect to see more widespread that in about 24 hours. So widespread 50s right now along those beaches. Gaviota, you're getting a little bit of an offshore flow right now out of the north. And even though that's close to a criteria for a uh, wind advisory, it's not really widespread spread enough for the weather service to warrant that, although that could change if we do see maybe a little more of a, of a wider um, north wind in this part of the world. So there's your marine there potential along the central coast, a little bit down in Ventura County, but that will likely get um, sort of uh, pushed out of the way as we get a stronger offshore flow with just a very weak ridge of high pressure right here. We stay very warm on the west coast. The rest of the country actually about average, if not slightly below, watching the wind for forecast. Here it is tomorrow morning. We stop that Santa Ana right there and that is in the morning. It'll linger through the morning hours, but it's very weak and then we'll likely push out of the area pretty quick. Now watch the clouds. Some well, maybe decent news here. Watch how clear it is. This is your offshore flow the next couple of days. And then as we head toward Tuesday, more fog. Wednesday, more fog. And then look right here at the bottom of the screen. Very early Wednesday, potential for some drizzle across Southern California. Now, could that get up into our region? Let's hope so, because we could sure use it. It's been a really dry April, and uh, we're just not doing pretty well on, um, on that. So the next couple of days, the button just went a little fast on me. Expect some warming, plenty of sunshine, and very warm for tomorrow. Everybody should bump a little bit, but the sea breeze could sneak in some areas and keep them on the uh, keep you on the cool to mild side. But we'll go ahead and forecast a really nice day out there for just about everybody. But the computer likes to put areas like Morro Bay, Cambria, maybe Pismo, closer to 70, maybe mid 60s. You go just a little bit inland, and everyone's popping pretty much up there. Now look at Ventura and Oxnard. That's a good area to see if we keep the sea breeze for the coastal area of Ventura. You might stay pretty noticeably cooler than just a few miles in with that light offshore wind. Uh, water temps come up a little bit. We do have a mixed southern hemisphere and wind swell out there, and the waves are actually pretty fun. And there it is, Santa Barbara, your forecast. More fog expected by the middle of the week. Could we see some drizzle? Let's hope so. That would be around Wednesday or Thursday. Wednesday, uh, Thursday is actually uh, Earth Day for everybody, so that's a good thing to kind of note. And drizzle maybe for Ventura County. We're going to go ahead and hope. We had a similar uh, plan last week, and some did fall across Southern California, Tracy, as I send it back to you. Um, at least we had a threat for it and maybe we'll have a threat again, but the next couple of days are going to be very warm. And Earth Day got its start right off our coast. All right, thank you. Coming up, car shows are back and this one is for a worthy cause. Plus, a sea lion tries to hit the road. That's still ahead on your local news channel, live at 6.